Hi guys, Gavin here from Play.net and today, um, obviously the live show was scheduled for tonight um, being Thursday the 4th of June but, you know, a lot's been going on in the past, you know, 40 hours with um, a particular brand and company called Thermotake um, who tend to have took their namesake pretty literally um, and decided to take quite a few things from people um, you know, this isn't a rant, this isn't a witch hunt, this isn't a bitch fest, and to be honest, I'm quite, in a way, I'm unbiased, because, you know, I have got a relationship with Thermaltake, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, what's been going on is not right. So, to, to sum it up, um, Thermaltake announced a new case at Computex yesterday, um, and it has a striking resemblance to a model from Case Labs. Now, what this essentially means is, you know, we have, I'm not going to say a cheap Taiwanese company like that make copies, but essentially that's what it is. A Taiwanese company or Chinese company is essentially taking a design, which is a premium design built by premium engineers in called Case Lab. It's a family run company, you know, they make exquisite cases. If you've ever owned one, if you've ever seen one or felt one in the flesh, you will know firsthand that Case Labs make fantastic cases and they're very 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 sought after so Thermotake have done uh, decided you know th this all came about with Kevin Keating who is the vice president of Case Labs and um, essentially a TTE employee seen their their case and asked if they could take photographs of it of an event at an event and of course Case Labs were a bit uncomfortable with this and said no we don't no obviously you're a competitor so apparently you know this is quoting apparently gentleman from Thermotech said, okay, we'll just buy one then, which essentially, you know, a lot of companies do this, because um, it's not irregular, you know, companies want to see what other companies are doing, so MSI might buy an Asus board, you know, just to see what Asus are doing, and it's, it's not about copying, but what it comes down to here is that the case is virtually identical in aesthetics, um, Maybe the interior is a little different, but when you take when, when when you've done this and release a case, it's probably a third of the price of what what I would call Case Labs because it's a fantastic brand. Um, it leaves a sour taste in the mouths of the consumers and the enthusiasts that like to support the companies based on loyalty. Now I'm not saying Thermaltake is a bad company. I'm pretty opposite of this, but. What they've done this time round is pretty despicable. I can't condone that kind of thing. And they've come under fire in the past 24 hours. You know, they've got water cooling products that are, are virtually identical to other um, products. But I'm not going to talk about that. Um, I'm going to give my viewpoint and my standpoint as a media, um, as as a member of the tech community, the media, or whatever you want to call me. Um, I don't really care. Um, so yeah. This is my professional standpoint and not player's standpoint, but my personal standpoint is that Thermotake need to pull the finger out the ass, um, either pull this case, change the case slightly, um, or in fact scrap the idea and just build, make, instead of copy and pasting someone else's idea, bring their own to the market, you know, Cooler Master have done this for years, you know, NZXT have brought their own, you know, they, it, it goes on and on and on. I mean, they've got a case called the Suppressor. It's an identical case to a Fractal R5. It's identical. It, it looks exact. You would, if you put what, if I put two of them in front of you and took the badges off, you would not know which is which. Which is quite frankly ridiculous. I mean, you can't reinvent the wheel, but please, 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 please be original. So yeah, I've got that one out of the way. Um, the second point, because I am pushed for time, I'm actually setting up a, a rig for LAN, because I'm at LAN Ops tomorrow um, in Sheffield. Um, you probably see my um, rig that I'm using now in, in, in a way. So basically, the modding community, it's... People, if you're on the, the player community page, you'll understand that I'm... I love this community, and modders, you know, go hand in hand with technology and, you know, Overclockers are exactly the same, you know, we push the limits of hardware, they push the limits of design of hardware, so it pains me to say this, but there are a select few modders out there at the moment that 
seem to think that doing one case build or one system build warrants and des and they deserve to get free stuff from co and I use free stuff like that in from companies quite loosely because essentially what it is is we've got people modders who are outsourcing the work to other companies or to other people they're doing the work and then this person's got free hardware the company support it's got his name out there and, and some of these people do not even credit the people that have helped them so it, it pains me to say this but this this modding community is in a sorry state of affairs at the moment and obviously with the thermal take saga going on at the moment and, and a couple of these modders I'm gonna I'm not gonna name anyone because to be honest they're some professional and I, I haven't got a problem with anybody you know I don't care I've not got a problem with anybody and one, one thing I do want to get out there is that this modding community that I like I, I see on a daily basis you know you've got big people like Peter Brands Lep, you know, fantastic modder, Kia Geister, or Richard Kia Geister, you've got, you know, Richard Saraz, you've got Stuart Tonks, you've got John Laverick, Montimo, you've got all these people that are constantly, sorry, Daniel Harper and Daniel Woods as well, I can't forget them too, uh, and, St and Sneff, I can't say your name properly, but Sneff, even Matteo, you know, this community is growing, um, but one thing I like to say is that from, I mean, we're not a massive media. We we pride ourselves on being small, but show integrity. You know, some some sites obviously do not show that word integrity or, or often. But I, I need to get out there and reiterate that this isn't a witch hunt. But you know, I am sick of these little spoiled little children who think they deserve everything, and people like me. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I don't care. You know, people like me who work the fingers to their bone for this. And I, I am constantly testing hardware. You know, I've got hardware here, hardware there. I've got every. I'm testing hardware. You know, I've got two kids, and I, obviously I do this from home because I've got a home office now. Um, it's hard to balance time, and I'm doing this. And, and a lot of the time, personally, a lot of things that I'm doing have to go back to the manufacturer to go to other companies because obviously marketing budgets are quite tight and the UK is not a massive market so the marketing budget for the UK is is smaller than quite a lot of other countries and the, the thing with, that I feel modders is I, I've been told by companies before that they haven't got samples for this particular thing and it's like okay fair play but next minute this modder in the same country as you've got this sample and it's like how how can you not send a sample to media who is essentially doing the work for free sometimes but you're sending it to a modder who's done fuck all. It's absolutely... Uh, I can't comprehend it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just giving my opinion. And if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Um, I, I, this, this is a discussion I want to have, you know. This is a community I love. And I'll use the word community loosely because it's sort of torn all over the place at the moment. Um, but one thing I will make clear is that I support modders. I support... All the clockers I support, lands I support, the community on a whole. I give half the stuff that I give away is my stuff. You know, some obviously companies sometimes give us stuff to give away, which is great. You know, we we appreciate the support, but a lot of the time, it's me giving the stuff away. It's Ben giving the stuff away. It's Jamie. It's Dave. You know, we we give our stuff to make to, to give something back to you guys because you read the you read the reviews on the site which essentially helps us grow so we're giving something back and when modders come along and essentially just get anything they put the hand out to the company and go hmm, I'm doing a mod so can you um, I need a GPU and they expect a GPU do they expect it go out and fucking buy one like every fucker else my GPU here I had to buy that you know the GPU I'm taking to land tomorrow I had to buy that the motherboard that's, that I'm going to take to land tomorrow the RAM that I'm taking to, to, run, to land tomorrow, I, I had to buy that. The microphone, I bought it. The webcam, I bought it. The monitor, I bought it. The keyboard, I bought it. You know what I mean? This this has got to stop. I, I'm getting really concerned at this, this industry at the moment. If any companies are watching this, please don't take offence to what I'm saying. But I'm, you know, I, I sit here like a hermit reviewing type. And I've just typed up a 4,000 word review today of a motherboard that had to go back to the company so 
I, obviously I don't mind doing that, that is what I do, that, I, I love doing it, it's a passion, but at the same time, you know, if modders are going to get these samples and it's coming out on marketing budgets, then either HQs of these companies have got to look and say, look, media come first, then modders, because we both go hand in hand, I'm not saying modders don't generate exposure for companies, they do, they generate lots of exposure. But the difference in work level between what some modders are doing, and when I say some, there is a select few who do absolutely fuck all. They outsource all the work and then come back with a finished product and it looks great because someone else has done the work. But now, I'd love to go, yeah. here you go Dave, here's a motherboard to review. You you, you review it mate and I'll, what I'll do is, you review it, test it, do everything with it and I'll just do a little write up and show the company and the company's like, yeah, good job and it's like, yeah, thanks. It's like, what about Dave? He's done the work. So you've you've got to take that into consideration. I know I'm rambling on, um, and I have got to go now. I'm going to actually going to go and get a bath, um, finish setting up this Windows installation for this LAN system tomorrow, for tomorrow, and probably get my ass whooped by everyone tonight because of, because of this, because I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Um, like, I'm going to I'm gonna summarise it now. So thermal take, sort your fucking selves out, you know, issue an apology to case labs it's fucking blatant i'm not gonna lie you know modders fucking instead of asking every single fuck i know modders that go to every company they can and say can i have some stuff and i'm doing this build i need ram i need this i need ssds i need gpus i need more blah, 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 blah. fucking stop bye you know fair enough like richard Soros, people like that they've earned the fucking stripes you know some of these new modders are like 18 year old and they're like, oh I've done a build, I've done a mod and I deserve all this free shit. Fuck off. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you agree with me, even if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and sorry I'm not looking into the camera all the time. I'm trying to, I'm doing 17,000 things at once at the moment. But yeah, I'm doing it all for you. So thanks for watching guys and ciao for now.